Okay, hello everybody, and uh, tonight we are doing 14-3. I'm on the reteach side, so uh, tonight we are we're basically putting numbers in order, integers. We're taking integers and putting them in order from least to greatest. Okay, and uh, this goes right along with what we were doing last night. If we've got integers, remember an integer is a number that has an opposite. So one is an integer. Negative one is an integer. Those are both integers. So if we uh, look at these integers here, we've got negative four, positive three, and negative one. So if we, if you have a number line in front of you, you can go ahead and just plot those on the number line. Here's negative four, negative one, and positive three. Now, in order to put those from least to greatest, we always work from left to right. Anytime you're looking at numbers, the number that's the closest, to the, the farthest to the left on your number line will be the least. So one is less than two, okay? Uh, two is less than five, okay? Um, negative three is less than positive one. Negative six is less than negative three. So just because it's to the left, it's worth less, okay? Now, if we look at our numbers here, negative four is going to be the least. So you write down negative four, then negative one, and then positive three. That's the order. You can put that positive sign if you want, or you can leave the positive sign out. But you do have to put the negative sign. Okay. So if we look at uh, the number two here, it uh, says positive two, positive three, negative five. Well, negative five would be way over here. Positive two would go right here. Positive three would go right here. So if we put those in order from least to greatest, uh, negative five would be the least because it's the farthest to the left. The next integer would be positive two and then positive three. You can put those plus signs if you want or you can just leave them a blank. Now on the practice side for 14.3, you're not gonna have a number line. Um, if you want to draw a number line, you can do that. You might want to use a separate piece of paper, or you can just visualize that number line. Okay, so for number one, you've got positive six, zero, and negative three. So obviously negative three is going to be your smallest, because on a number line, that would be the farthest to the left. So negative three goes first, then zero would be your next biggest, and then six would be the greatest, because positive six on the number line it would be negative three, and then we would go farther over, and then we would hit zero, and then we would move to the right, and then we would hit six. So it's moving from left to right, the left being the smallest, okay? If we did number two, negative 22, positive 11, and negative six, which number on our number line would be the farthest to the left? Well, it would be negative 22. And then if we move from negative 22 over quite a ways, we would get to negative six, negative 22, negative six. And then if we kept continuing on, our, continuing on our number line to the right, the biggest number would be positive 11. So that would be here. Good luck on your homework tonight, working on ordering your integers from least to greatest.